All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another uh, episode of Eric's Interests. So, as I promised, here it is, another episode in the Shin Godzilla analysis series or the meta, the symbolic series. So, um, just quickly to reflect from our last episode, what we were doing. Our last episode was about when the acid or like the blood from Shin Godzilla that's coming out of its gills. In the like the first, if you think correctly, in the first like I want to say four minutes in the movie. Uh, where he, the blood is slowly coming towards the city, and then you see Shin Godzilla's tail come out. Uh, I, I, I said that that is supposed to slowly, uh, the blood coming towards them is supposed to represent their history coming back and how the government is going to fail again when Godzilla comes and uh, they, they can't make a decision, and it's supposed to kind of bring back their history and the death, innocent death of the Hiroshima, but everything, like every bad, because the US, again, it's, it's, it's funny how US goes like, oh, we're gonna bomb you, and you know, just, just go ahead and watch the episode if you haven't seen it, it's a very interesting one, and it's doing amazing, thank you so much guys, um, it's around 3,600 views, and it's going up, and I just wanna say thank you so much, you guys are amazing, I love the support, so, without further ado, let's get into this new episode, and uh, this one is gonna be a good one too. This episode, this one, I've, it's never been like this. This episode is going to be similar to the last one because it's on the same thing, but it has a different meaning. And uh, being Hideo Kawano, this director, he's a very creative man. And a lot of stuff in Shin Ga this is why my series has been go going, going for very long. I think I have like what? 12 13 episodes in here and and there is just and I can tell you there I'm not even done there is so much to cover in Shin Godzilla because m one thing in the movie has so many multiple meanings that is just crazy my last one for this one again as I said it's supposed to be another history so this one it's crazy go and check it out in the last video I, I give every detail about it and support my claims now this one we're gonna be talking about the same thing the same blood but instead of instead of focusing on the here uh, excuse me instead of focusing on the Hiroshima bombing and the um, uh, what is it called? Um, the Hiroshima bombing, um, the government's failure. Wow, my mind wasn't working about making decisions. Anyways, but I'm sorry. Before I start, uh, go ahead and check out my new animation video. Um, my last one wasn't too good, but this one I made a new one with sound effects and like edits and everything. It's crazy. It's really good. So go ahead and check it out. Show some support, guys. All right. So let's quickly get into this. So let's not make this too long. Okay, so in the first four to five minutes of the movie, Shin Godzilla's blood is slowly coming towards Japan. Now again, as I'm saying, this is the same thing but a different meaning I found from it, because a lot of these have multiple meanings. Now, we're going to be focusing on the tsunami in this video. The tsunami plays a huge factor in Shin Gojira. Because now Godzilla being a metaphor of the atomic bomb, this the the um, the Japan tsunami wasn't really brought up because it didn't happen at that time. But a lot of um, connections have been made of the tsunami that uh, came in Japan and to all the lives that were lost, respect respectively. The way that I see, so I'm going to build from the beginning to the end of this uh, analysis. So the blood again, it's, it's close to the idea of bringing back their history, but it's just bringing it. This is more of a foreshadow that something is going to happen and it's not good because red is not a good color. Red is supposed to represent death, blood, pain. And when it's slowly coming, Shin Godzilla's second form that comes up, because the first one we don't see, he is very, um, he comes in a very, the pattern that he walks, it's not, um, it's not straight, it's like a wave, he's coming, he's going from side to side, side to side, and it, the way he's walking, the way he's stumbling around, 
um, it really reminds me of a wave or a, a huge wave, a tsunami. Because a lot of people underestimate the power of nature. A lot of people, when they go like Mother Earth, um, you know, nothing's gonna happen, and then a tornado comes and boom, it smashes everything. The same exact things happen here when the um, uh, when the doctor, or not a doctor, the scientist, or one of the, the biologists, excuse me, says that. Um, that he's he, uh, his legs he's not going to be able to support his weight and once again humanity has underestimated the power of earth because Shin Godzilla is a force of nature so he's coming they underestimate him and he's he's coming like not knowing where he's going he's just stumbling around without any direction and it's, it's just like how a wave comes just goes through anywhere it, it, it can find without knowing what it's doing and a huge example that has come that Hideaki Ano puts here, and um, this is really representing the innocent people. It's a family. It's there, there's a um, a kid. I don't. I'm very sorry. I don't really remember, but I think it's a kid. I think it's a people. A family of three. It's a kid, or is it two kids? I think it's one or two kids, and a father and a mother. In the building, and they see Shin Godzilla, or it's we could say um, I keep on forgetting Shinagawa Kun. I don't even know. You can have to correct me. I always forget. I don't know. Anyways, his second form slowly coming at them, but they they don't make it in time to safety and Shin Godzilla comes and just collapses over them and again the way he comes he comes from the top and then just goes down just like a wave. So again, this is, uh, and this, my conclusion is that it's, this is supposed to be a metaphor or a symbol for the tsunami, and this is just for the tsunami, and yeah, just focusing on the tsunami, and, uh, there is so much more to talk about, I mean, this is why my, my, uh, ep my Shin Gods analysis has been going on for, uh, this is like the 14th, 15th episode. And uh, there is so much more to talk about, guys. I have so much more to cover. So the, what I do is I do one video a week for the Shin Godzilla analysis series. So my I'm going to start a new routine because sometimes I just post unexpectedly and I'll, I don't think that's professional. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post Saturdays and Sundays, so two videos a week. And uh, one of them is just going to be a fun video, a skit, and the other one. And yeah, Matra is just getting destroyed here. Um, but... Yeah, whatever. I'm not even like trying. I'm just like focused on this. But the um, the amount that I have to talk about is just amazing. And um, again, this is a very I'm, and I'm as I said, if you are taking any offense or anything that I'm saying, I'm saying everything as historical wise and going at it as respectfully as I can. So just you know, just understand that and. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support that I've been getting with all these videos. It's just amazing, and I love you guys so much. Um, this video will be up in, what is it today, Saturday? Yeah, I'll just post it today. I was going to post it on Sunday because I already posted a video today, but uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be busy, so I'm just going to go and just post this today for an exception, and uh, we'll see what we do. And then on next Sunday, I will get another Shin Godzilla analysis video up. And on a Saturday, we'll see something. Oh, yeah. I actually have a video that I made, and I'm going to release it next Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. And Sunday, it's going to be the Shin Godzilla analysis video. And the Saturday one is going to be why Shin Godzilla is the most important Godzilla. And I have some cool stuff to talk about there. And it's, it's like a 10-minute video. It's like covering everything. So... Thank you, or not even an 11-minute video. I think it was 11 minutes. I don't know. I was just talking and talking. It was. Uh, I'm like, there's so much stuff to talk about. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, thank you so so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get some good likes in this, and keep up the good work, guys. I love all the enthusiasm from you guys, and this is just motivating me to continue more and more and more, and. Um, I did pre-order the Gabra figure, so I'm going to do an unboxing when it comes out in May, I think, yeah. I'm going to do an unboxing on that, 
and a review so I'm very very excited for that and I think I'm gonna pre-order the Shin Godzilla Bandai Movie Monster Series Climax version and I'm really really thinking on um I'm really thinking on um painting it purple on the sides but and one more announcement I'm sorry for making this a long video one more announcement I did say videos Saturday Sunday Saturday Sunday there is going to be an exception there will be a brand new a special brand new episode on Wednesday and it's a Shin Godzilla episode I'm not gonna say what it is yet but it no it's not an analysis an analysis is coming on Sunday it's about Shin Godzilla. It's about a figure. Actually, no, I'm just gonna say it. whatever, man. You know what? You guys deserve it. It is a custom Shin Godzilla figure that uh, I have come to do and to paint, actually, to be more correct. And I'm gonna put a video on it. And I have the uh, Persecution of the Mass. Oh no, I think it's Pers Persecution of the Mass. I, put. I don't really remember. I think it's that. But I put the music on it. It's very nice. It's like a two-minute video showing me what I made. And uh, I will put that up on Wednesday. And, and then we'll just go on with the same routine. Anyways, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe for a lot of co for more content like this. And as always, have an amazing day, guys. See you later, guys.